and welcome to episode 2 of this game of Tag Across Europe. Just as a quick refresher, in this game we're each trying to get to a different place in Europe. Whichever of us is the current runner can spend coins to make progress towards their location while trying to avoid capture from the chasers. Last episode, on his way to Zermatt, Switzerland, Ben ended up getting caught in Moose, a station in the middle of absolutely nowhere. This made Adam the runner and gave him a massive opportunity. Using the reservation he had made as a chaser, he was able to get right back on the train he took in Moose before it left the station. That train is headed to Strasbourg, from which Adam can head north towards Germany to his location, Borkum. And to make matters worse for me and Ben, who now need to catch Adam, the next train from Moose to Strasbourg isn't for three hours, putting us dangerously far behind. Adam has just been gifted the biggest lead this game has ever had. Well, why did you catch me here? Why did you go here? At the last station. That way, <laughs> there was a train one hour later to Strasbourg. But it doesn't stop here. But it doesn't stop here. Yeah, like only because the train stop. Here. Look. Okay, so um, I've dipped into the little area between cars to explain the move. Basically, I'm back on the train that Sam and I were just on to Strasbourg. I'm allowed to do that because we initially booked a reservation to Strasbourg. So I have to pay for it now, but I'm allowed to get on it. I have a reservation. The thing is, they can't get to Strasbourg for three hours ahead. Well, but only theoretically three hours ahead. You, what, you, you banking on a derailment? Well, we could call in a bomb threat. I just walked through a car that was like all children. Surely the children are not traveling alone, all of them together, right? Comment below if children have a special car or if that's just a band of very transit-oriented children. Okay, hello. Um, so we have done some research. We thought we were extremely screwed, but it turns out we're only very screwed. Two thirds of extremely screwed. I mean, we looked at every option. We've just spent 40 minutes researching. Um, we wanted to see if we could basically cut Adam off. We looked at flights, we looked at trains, we looked at everything, and there's no way to really get ahead of him on his route north. So we have to just follow him, basically. And hope he loses time. Well, fortunately, it turns out if we go backwards back to champaign ardennes then we can take a slightly earlier train to Strasbourg and only be, what, like two hours two behind? Two hours behind. It's better. Better. There's our train. That seems bad. That seems bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Welcome to Strasbourg. I'm just going to get outside the train station and then I'll explain my full plan. That music is fun. Let's just get across the street here. Oh, it's already starting to get hot. Well, it's got the toasty. We got toasty. Yeah. Sam, would you believe that Adam Chase is in Strasbourg, France right I, now? I think I would believe that, yes, actually. Uh, well, that's the case. Uh, he's there. We should try and figure out what... Uh, 1246. 1246? 1246. That's his best train out of there? Yeah, so it is a bit of a while. I mean, it's going to rack up some points, no doubt. But... Yeah. All right, so here's the deal. The goal is to get to Borka. Uh, but it's very far. So I'm not totally gonna focus on getting all the way up just yet. I'm more focused on getting to Munster, and I need to get on that train at 12.46, so in about an hour and a half. To get to Munster, I need, I did the math on it, 3,820 coins. I have 550 right now. So basically, I have an hour and a half to earn just over 3,000 coins, which doable not super easy. Um, so I think that what I'm gonna do is I'm going to buy the 250 coin power-up 
that doubles the value of my next challenge, but it also doubles the veto period. So it would be very bad if I had to veto. Let's find out. Shuffle, shuffle. Congratulations, you're in Amy's Trivia Corner. Amy has recorded three trivia questions about Europe with increasing levels of difficulty. You have one guess at each answer. For each right answer, you receive 400 coins. There is no punishment for wrong answers in Amy's Trivia Corner. That's not how Amy rolls. This rocks. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is the best card in the deck. I am thrilled to be in Amy's Trivia Corner because there is no veto for this card. All right, let's see what's in store in Amy's Trivia Corner. Oh, by the way, if you didn't know, Amy is our colleague. She writes a lot of half as interesting videos and sometimes helps us with jet lag. Okay. Welcome to Amy's Trivia Corner. Here is your first question. In 1911, a European painting was iconically stolen. So iconically that when the museum got it back years later, it's it was Mona way Lisa. more famous than it it's had ever Mona Lisa. been. I know so this. now, if you want to see it, you're going to have to brave some serious crowds. Yeah, it's the Mona Lisa. I know this. That? It's the Mona Lisa. It, it is the, the Mona, Mona Lisa. Lisa. Thank you, Amy. Okay, awesome. So that right away, 800 coins. Second question. Do you want some pizza? Pizza? Yeah. Sure. Well, they have boy, pizza here. do I have some news for you. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh. Sit so, out. <laughs> I was so excited about it. <sighs> this rocks. Second question. The German language is full of tons of very useful, very specific words. Wanderlust, Schadenfreude, Torschlusspanik. Which of these is the definition of Torschlusspanik? A, fear of looking like a tourist. B, oh, realizing wow. you left home without turning the lights off. C, anxiety caused by running out of time, or D, a school or class that prepares children for the first grade. Oh no, oh, I don't know this at all. Torsch, lust, panic. Okay, panic, so sounding out, panic would be anxiety, so I don't think it's D. But torsch sounds a lot like torch, and that would lead me to think it's about lights. So I feel like it's B, I'm going B. I'm going B, I would really like it to be B, please. So the answer is, See, no. anxiety caused by running out of time. No. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? This sucks. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Last question. Europe is a continent of many distinct flags. Which of these four flags is not the real flag of a European country? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. One of them is Italy's. I know that for sure. Oh, God. Okay, I think that B is the Italian flag. D looks kind of familiar. It's between A and C for me. I'm going A, but I don't feel confident. The answer is A. Yes! Obviously, that, look at it, ridiculous. Couldn't possibly be real. Oh my God, okay, incredible. So that is 1,600 coins right there. It's like half of what I need. <sighs> Thank you, Amy. Who needs human beings? They suck. They suck. I wish I could install one of those in my, my apartment. Welcome back to this episode of Choo 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 Derailed. Yeah, I don't like that you have completely co-opted the snack empire that we built. And you okay. didn't. This is snack cell now. No, I said no. That's a perfectly serviceable pizza. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, well, that turned out amazing. So I feel like it's probably no longer worth the risk to double up again. I don't know. No, no, I'm gonna double up. I'm gonna double up again. Going, I'm trying to earn coins right now. Focusing on coins. Shuffle, shuffle. Cutting the origin half using only this card. 
Acquire an orange. Using only this card, fully cut the orange in half. You cannot pry the orange open using your hands or the card. Okay. Okay. Okay, we have tested this. It is doable. It is not exactly easy. <laughs> because basically the amount of time it takes to cut the orange is almost the exact same amount of time that it takes to completely disintegrate the card. Let's go find an orange. Let's go find a goddamn orange. The supermarket. Yes. Ooh, this one's pretty soft. This one is, this is a winner. Messy. Excuse me. Are you Adam? Oh, yeah. Hey, man. Big fan. Hey, Big great fan. to meet I've you, dude. Seen all six seasons. What's your name? Sid. Sid, good to meet you, dude. All right, Sid, I, you can hang with me if you want, but while we hang, I have to cut an orange in half okay. using only this card. <laughs> but if you want to sit down with me while we do it. Okay, yeah, I, I can sit down. You can totally chill. I think I need to start by focusing on getting all the skin, and then I'll focus on okay. the flesh. Okay, okay. Yeah, See if I can get, you, okay, so we're already in. So this oh, feels yeah. good. Oh, but see, I just bent it. So we gotta be, we gotta be mad careful here. Yeah. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna just go, I'm gonna do one side at a time. And I cannot help you in any way. No, 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 certainly not. But you can help me by by chilling here. Yeah. Oh goodness. Sid, would you mind checking to make sure that I'm in, that we're in frame? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, fantastic. Okay, okay, this was good. This was good. Look, look, look. Yeah. I've almost got all of the, the skin. Yeah, yeah, almost all the skin. Okay, I'm gonna try to make sure the camera can see what I'm yeah. doing. Okay, that feels huge. Yeah. So we've got, we've cut all the skin. That's right. So now I think we just have to get through the middle. Yeah, and I think you will be... Oh, oh, this is feeling good. Yeah. This is feeling oh, good. This is feeling, oh, I, I got close, but I did, yeah. <laughs> did not quite get there. Okay, here we go. Oh my be gosh. Careful, yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh okay. Okay, look, so here's the state of the game. The card is falling apart. We are so close on the orange. Okay, I think, I think a, a fold, what do you think? think? Yeah, 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 I think a fold, because it's really more about just pushing. Yeah. Oh God. It just makes, yeah. Oh, almost, we're so close. Almost. Okay, it's literally just this. Okay, I think maybe with this. Yes. Ha ha! You did it. There we go. All right, that is huge news. It's so great to meet you, Sid. Yeah, we do. Yeah, bye. Ooh. What do you think Adam's up to? You know what I bet he's not up to? Being chill and eating a delightful vending machine pizza in the sun. Can I eat some of this orange? Okay, so this is great. So I'm only like 670 coins short. So I think at this point, it is probably not worth it to double up because I sort of risk getting f***ed. Uh, and I would prefer not to get f***ed, if that makes sense. All right, shuffle, shuffle. Fight them on the beaches. Send a menacing image to the chasers from three of the following locations. A beach, anywhere where natural water meets land, a landing ground, any spot where an aircraft lands, a field, a street, a hill. Okay. Okay, sure, 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 sure. Oh, wait. <laughs> this puts me 70 coins short of what I need. That's annoying. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. This is a reference to a Winston Churchill speech, if you didn't, if you didn't get that. Uh, but anyway, all right. Menacing image. All right, I'm gonna make them tell a story. I suggest checking your SMS text messages. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh he's, uh-oh. He, oh. looks, he looks very menacing. Oh my God. I feel very menaced. He looks like he's about to punch us. Do you think Adam's ever punched anyone? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's go to the beach. Beach, let's go get a win. They say, what they gonna say? Have a drink? Clink found a butt like bad bitch like me. It's hard to come by. Ninky Minjaj. So the card defines beach very loosely. Anywhere where natural water meets land. 
now a field. This is beautiful. Cool, I'm gonna go under this cool bridge. This is for sure a field. Six hundred more coins, baby. This is going really well. Here we go. I feel like I'm due for a hard one. Answer a riddle under a bridge. Tristan has recorded a riddle for you to answer. You are permitted one guess. If you are wrong, this card is vetoed. You must answer the riddle beneath a bridge. Once beneath the bridge, you cannot leave until you have attempted an answer. Okay. Well, I know how to get under a bridge. All right, Tristan. Let's see what you've got. Adam is, um, is by a river. I wonder if he's doing a riddle. Under a bridge? Mm-hmm. I sure hope so. I feel bad that Tristan keeps recording these riddles for us. Hi. All right, time for a riddle. I'm Tristan. I tried to get under a bridge in solidarity, but couldn't quite make it. Um, but here we go. I fly without wings. I cry without eyes. And everywhere I go, darkness follows. Think about that for a second. I definitely don't know it right away. Cry, cry, no cries. No cries. Maybe. Maybe it's not. Oh, and babies have eyes. Okay. No cries. Well, well, wolves also have eyes. Like your eyelids, maybe? Your eyelashes? No, your eyelashes would cry. Night, everywhere, nighttime ones are always ones. A cloud! A cloud, a cloud, a cloud, right? A cloud, a cloud, rains, right? A cloud flies up in the air, no rains. Darkness follows, because it blocks the sun. That's gotta be a cloud. Cloud, we say cloud, say cloud, say cloud. Say cloud, say cloud, I hope you're having a good jet lag, by the way. Oh, Thank you. fisherman. Um, okay, I'm gonna read the answer now. The answer is clouds. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's such good news. That's slightly concerning. There's a jet. That's it's like a military jet. I hope. This is our last stop here. Yeah. I can only take so much vending machine pizza. Well, you don't have to get a vending machine pizza. Yes, every yes, time. you do, Ben. Ben and I are finally headed for Strasbourg, where Adam has been doing challenges. With the riddle complete, Adam has earned enough to get him all the way to Munster. He'll take a train to Offenburg, transfer onto a train to Karlsruhe, and then finally onto one long regional train to Munster. That first train to Offenburg leaves in 35 minutes, right before we arrive in Strasbourg. But if he can earn another 980 coins before he leaves, he'll have enough to get him all the way to his finish line without ever needing to stop for a challenge again. So, my train is in 35 minutes. I'm gonna pull one more card. Uh, because I still have time to veto. Make a putt. Roll a ball into a cup from a distance of 10 feet. The cup may be no larger than six inches in diameter. You may spend as long as you wish setting up items to aid its roll. You get one attempt. If you fail, the challenge is automatically vetoed. This one is very funny to get in this sort of sense. All right, I have five minutes to do this attempt. Big cup. Okay. Yeah, that's the best we're gonna do. All right, smooth surface. We're just gonna have a really smooth surface. This is like cobblestone, which I don't 
don't like that. Okay, these floors are smoother. I would need space. The idea of this card is that we figured you would most likely spend quite a while setting up your shot because you only get one chance at it. Uh, I'm in a position where I just don't have time to do that. So I think we're just going to have to kind of go for it here. Don't feel good about this. How much time do we have? We have one minute. Okay. Okay, so this is 10. Here we go. One shot. One. I'm going to try going in. I'm going to try going in. Aim the last shot. I think that will be better. Here we go. We are officially going to Germany. All right, I believe we have just passed New Germany. Yes. This is this is Kel. Welcome to Kel. Welcome to the great uh, country of Germany. A country that is good and other times has been bad before, but seems mostly good now. Sam, welcome to beautiful Strasbourg. Welcome back. Welcome back. We've been here before. Yeah. Um, In a similar uh, situation. They look guns. Nice. You should definitely film the people with guns. We are not going to be here for long. We are going to go right to Frankfurt to try and cut out of a hoss. We need... We're catching up. ...reservations on that train, and the website is... us, so... We have to go talk to a real person, which yes. neither of us like to do. Oh, um, real people suck. Uh, Frankfurt? Aujourd'hui? Wait. C'est sur uh, la machine? Pour la réservation de oui. siège? Okay. Mm. Now it filled up in the one minute. That's brutal. Okay. Team um, BAM has been oh. vinced one, once again. Well, we tried to go book a reservation on the on the next train to Frankfurt, and it was full. I mean, there's a train an hour later, but I would like to not lose a whole another hour. All right, pulling into Offenburg. I'll have like three minutes to make my connection. That shouldn't be a problem at all. Deutsche Bahn is so reliable. Okay, okay, okay. Leaves in three minutes. I legit might miss it. If I miss this train, it will throw my whole plan off. What, I don't know what these signs mean. I just need to find a departure board. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Platform three. Oh, thank God. Okay, Google New. Okay. I, I think it turned out it was actually just on the platform uh, immediately opposite me <laughs> to start with. But that's fine. I am going to make it on the train. Lots of luck in your senior year, boys. Well, we've uh, looked at our options, and yeah, I think the consensus is because that train was full, we lost an hour. The best train is the one at 2.51. Well, the best train is the one in five, six minutes, but... The best train the best that's train not, that full. not full. Yes. Uh, you know what? I'm flipping the script. We're totally fine, Ben. We're going to crush it. We are going to crush it. In fact, crush it. we are crushing we it. We are currently crushing it. While sitting here, 
and everything is fine. And you know what? He has a whole. He's a. He's a, he's got. A, he's got. A, Welcome to Carl's Room. And folks, we are on the same train for about four and a half hours. It's a very good move for me. It's a very good move for me. So, you know, sucks for you. You know what we need? unsafe amounts of caffeine. So Ben has never in his life had a Red Bull. So welcome to the snack zone. This is a solicitation for sponsorship. Okay, cheers. Prost. Why does it taste like this? Adam, I hope you get hit by a train. It's a very different shape. Hold it back. Hold it. The man is in Mannheim. Looks like he, yeah, looks like he's probably continuing past Mannheim. Well, we'll have to stop eventually. Yes, probably. probably. I'm, I must see. Yeah, probably. All right, so this is Mannheim. What can we learn about Mannheim? Okay. Mannheim is the second largest city in the German state of Baden. Württemberg after the state and its capital, which is Stuttgart. It is Germany's 21st largest city. All of that is pretty boring. Okay, we're making a quick little transfer. Welcome to Germany, Sam. Choo choo. I have news. What's the dealio, Sam? Adam has passed Frankfurt. He's passed Frankfurt? But he's not on the high speed line. Interesting. He seems to be on a regional line. Well, that means he's gonna lose some valuable time. Adam's route does look delightful. He's, he's riding by the Rhine. Ooh. Well, you know, at least he gets a little treat before we destroy him. Oh my gosh, there's a castle up there. I'm gonna text Ben and Sam. It's so sad that they aren't seeing this incredible view. Adam is texting us pictures of the Rhine to make us jealous. He's taunting us. So Sam is trying to come up with genius psychological warfare. Uh, what have you got, Sam? We, no, we were brainstorming collaboratively. Oh, what if we sent him a picture of the Rhine? That's a good idea. No, that's not bad. You sent me a picture. That's not where they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be further away. They are supposed to be further away from that. Sam. What's what's the uh, what's the sitch? Okay, VO Sam here to explain the sitch. Right now, we're all headed to Moonster. Adam's train is scheduled to get in at around 7 p.m., an hour before our first rest period. Every night at 8 p.m., the game pauses for 10 hours so that we can sleep, and then at 6 a.m. the next morning, everyone returns to exactly where they were. 
Adam's plan is to make a quick transfer onto a train towards Emden tonight, where the ferry to Borkum departs. He won't be able to get all the way to Emden before the rest period, but he should be able to make it to a town called Lingen. Most importantly, he really needs to make it onto a train out of Munster tonight, because we're gaining ground on him. Our train is faster, and it's scheduled to get into Munster only an hour after him. But to make matters worse for Adam, his train is about a half hour behind schedule, meaning he's about to miss his connection. But because all the announcements have been in German, he hasn't realized that until just now. All right, my train is getting in seemingly very late. I don't know how late, but it was supposed to be in Munster a minute ago, and it's still going very fast, as you can see. Um, my GPS isn't really working very well, so I can't actually tell how far from Munster we are. But I'm getting pretty scared that it's far. Um, so if it doesn't arrive within the next six minutes, we are we are not getting to Lingen. And I'm pretty sure Ben and Sam are going to be at my station in under an hour. So I might need to look into backup plans. Mm -hmm. I always get so much comment section critique for confidence in this game. But it's manifesting. Manifesting works. Manifesting. You've got to visualize your success. That's real science. You've got to believe in yourself. Yep. Even if it, even if all of the odds are against you. I know with 100% certainty that I will win this season. What? My location is updated now. I'm not even close. What? The f what? what? I'm not gonna make it onto my train. I'm gonna arrive to my station with Ben and Sam are gonna be there within like 30 minutes. I I don't I don't I don't understand what happened. The, my train was never delayed at any point. I don't understand how it's gonna get in like 20, 30 minutes yeah. late. He's on a ghost train, Ben. We don't know what he's on, but what we do know is that we got two beers. So definitely we? need this beer. That's what I said to the woman. Like you're not gonna cheers? That's kind of rude. Thank you. Are you excited to spend a lovely night in Munster? I I am. Munster, I'm gonna eat so much cheese. I hope it's actually the place that the cheese comes from. Oh, we're here. Sure. Okay. Okay, so my train got in. Uh, almost a full 30 minutes late, uh, which is infuriating because it wasn't delayed in any way, and there was no warning that that would happen. So that means I am for sure not going to make the train that I thought I was going to get on, uh, but it's kind of fine because I found a backup that goes in the right direction at least. I'll have to get off a stop earlier. Oh my gosh, I thought that woman was Sam. So Adam is in Munster. It would be ideal if he stopped in Munster, because then there's a chance we could catch him yeah. there. Um, otherwise, I don't think we're going to even have a chance to catch him until he gets all the way. Mm -hmm. It looks like he's on the street, so it looks like he's gotten off. This is very confusing. I like the French ones better. This is confusing. Tell, tell me what f platform it's on. There's no, there's no information. There's literally nothing on here about this. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna have to look at every platform. I think they're gonna be here in like 20 minutes. Do you remember? No. No? No? No. Okay. Oh no. Okay, it's delayed by 20 minutes. They would get here in 20 minutes. They would they would be here in 20 minutes, I'm almost certain. Let's go back to the board. Okay, okay. Okay, what are my options? Let's just look at these. This goes to Dortmund. That's that. That, no, that doesn't work. They're all delayed. None of this makes any sense. None of this makes any sense. What the? is going on here. 
What is happening? What is happening? They're going to be here soon. All right, all of the trains are super confusing. None of them make any sense at all. So new plan. We're going to stay in Munster. We are going to attempt tomorrow morning to sneak onto a train. I'm going to get into the city. I'm going to hide. And to make sure I don't get caught, you know I brought a disguise. How you feeling, guys? Um, I don't know if I want to say this, but you can watch the next episode now if you want to on Nebula. Um, <laughs> do you want them to, Ben? Yeah, might as well. <laughs> might as well. But we have every episode up uh, one week early on Nebula, including this one. Um, that's, of course, an appreciation of the fact that pretty much all the revenue for the show comes from our Nebula subscribers. So, you know, we try to give them the best viewing experience possible by giving them every single episode one week early, among other stuff, such as... You can listen to uh, our Nebula-exclusive after show called The Layover, where every week we all get together, we break down some of the strategy that went on in the episode, we dive deep on all the stuff that was behind the scenes that we didn't have time to put in, and uh, this week's episode is, is definitely going to be an interesting it's definitely one. a lot to answer for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but there's more, right? Yeah, yeah. So Nebula, if you don't know, it's a creator-founded, creator-owned, creator-run uh, streaming service that was basically founded by uh, a big group of YouTube creators with the intention that it would be the best home for their content. So not only do you get the best jet lag experience, but you also get to see a ton of original content that can only be viewed on Nebula. We've made a ton of Nebula originals. A lot of other creators have made Nebula originals. They're basically bigger budget versions of the stuff that we make on YouTube. So we are now offering on Nebula a lifetime subscription. You can get access to Nebula forever. Never pay Nebula another dime. You just got access to it for life. Um, this is not the most money efficient way for, of signing up for Nebula. That, that would be the annual subscription. But if you really want to support the show, a huge portion of that money goes to us and it comes to us up front, which helps us fund bigger, more absurd seasons in the future. And again, you know, the value you get is not just the best viewing experience for uh, jet lag. It's not just supporting jet lag. It's doing that for all sorts of creators, many of whom you probably already watch. So make sure to click the button on screen or go to nebula.tv slash jet lag to get 40% off an annual subscription. And thank you in advance for your support. Bye. See you there.